So here's the first replay. Uh, this time we are going against uh, Traptrix and we are going on, on the draw. So let's see what this deck can accomplish. So pause it. Pause it. So this is one of the reasons why this deck can actually really win and can actually be really on a long run because as you can see you start with a lot of en non-engine, a lot of interruption and starting with uppercutter plus chief second ensure you you can just uh, have your plays, have your normal summon additions, have your search uh, in, uh, by a bit of, of interrupt so this end is really good and you will start to see why Continue. Okay. On the hand side, I should have uh, waited and used uh, Valor on Sarah, but in this case, I didn't expect him to have some follow up, so I decided, okay, let's uh, Valor Mantis so he can get uh, into your uh, into Arachnocampa. Okay, so a link for Sarah. He activate Orotea and here I change Makchi. Hopefully Makchi resolve. No, Makchi doesn't solve because this game is fair, I guess. So Makchi gets negated and Orotea summon. Here, here I activate Ash Blossom so it doesn't get the follow up. And I decide, I thought, okay. He can just pass or do some other plays, but he has Arachnocampa, so he can just extend and set up the board so well. So yeah, his board is Sarah, Rafflesia, plus uh, um, Gatekeeper, Gave Digger, Trapole, which Gave Digger, Trapole against us, it doesn't go do that much, so it's fine. So here's the turn. First, let's start with Prosperity. And let's review. So here, the obvious target is talent because he will like, for sure activate Terraflasia. Okay, first, you, s you had promote, I had the promoter because I want something for the follow up turn, and promoter is the best card for the follow up. And here, I decided to go into Lidioc because the only card that can out Lithiok in Trap Tricks is Floodgate Trapo, and not a lot of Trap Tricks plays Floodgate Trapo. So let's see what we he will uh, uh, activate and send with Rafflesia. Yeah, he sent Traitor, Traitor's Trapo, Traitor's Nightmare, so Lithiok save itself and can. Uh, become bigger and Sarah can trigger to set the, his follow up. So now talent to steal a Rafflesia and go to battle phase. Here obviously he activated Lotea to save his, some lifelines but here I can go into Zeus on top of uh, Rafflesia and pass. B and pass. The reason why I didn't activate Zeus right now is that uh, he already activated, uh, um, where is it, uh, Olotea. So I want him to activate Olotea, trigger Sera, and then uh, I will want to activate Zeus. So if somehow he, on this turn he can't reactivate the graveyard effect of um, Olotea to special summon something and go from that point. So let's see what he will draw. Obviously he activated this and activate uh, Sera. Budikura. I activate Zeus and send everything to the graveyard. Then it's set. So it's now in my turn. Okay. I special summon Zeus. 
Okay, here I forgot one thing. Uh, promoter is not a Xenolog, it's for all turns. So if you somehow special summon something that it's not a button inboxer, you can't uh, activate the promoter effect uh, that turn. So I decided, okay, okay, I fucked up, I shouldn't have summoned Zeus back, but it's fine. So let's special summon Zeus and let's go to battle. So one, two, main phase two, I can just special summon Spire, go into Dempsey, and add something. Uh, add cross counter, set one, and pass. Opponent draw, he activate Odotea for Pudicula, and I activate Dempsey. So I activate Dempsey so he can't target my. Uh, King Dempsey, because uh, King Dempsey doesn't give you an immunity, it just says that uh, Button Boxer cannot target. So if it's already been targeted, uh, King Dempsey doesn't uh, protect. So in this case, the only target for Pudicula would be Zeus. Okay, special summon, it vanish, and go into Pudicula. Pudica. Into Sela. And set one. Go meter, I draw reinforcement. He use infinite permanent on permanent of King Dempsey. It's fine. He just wanted to have uh, the button box in the graveyard. He activates uh, that one, I activate Pudicua. I decide to negate with cross counter. So Sarah doesn't trigger and this card goes to the graveyard and I can special summon uh, Caesar. I special summon Zeus back and right now it should be game because unless this card is some mirror force, no, it's game. So as you can see, you have a lot of way to play through the grind game and to play through the sticky board because the first way game, the first turn was actually a really sticky board. So you need to just play and use your resource correctly and you can do a lot of stuff. Let's check another one. This was against uh, Snake Eye. And I don't remember if I went first or second, I think I went second, but let's, let's see. Yeah, I went second. Ah, no, I went first. Okay, okay, it was the other one. So, okay. Here it's important to cross out because you want to have a King Dempsey on the field and you want to ensure uppercut to the soul. So I can just cross out on Infinite Impermanence. At Spiral, Spiral goes into King Dempsey. I activate King Dempsey to search for something, but Ash Blossom is there, so it's okay. So right now I can just set free and pass. Yeah, it's important to detach uh, for King Dempsey to s have a spire on the graveyard because on the opponent turn I want to activate King Dempsey, um, detach uppercutter, effect of uppercutter, special summon spire so I can destroy spire with uh, cross counter and go into a second King Dempsey to search for the follow up. In this case I try to use uh, he starts with bonfire. I decide to go with King Dempsey and activate, but unfortunately I get called by, so we can go into that play, but it's fine. I use the called by on upper cutter. I don't care about that. This one? Okay. I prefer here I prefer going into infinite impermanence instead of a, a cross counter because uh, I don't know if it has some follow up and I prefer using this card if it somehow 
as something else or no and the card that I would bring out that would be in this case Caesar uh, Kaiser it's not that good right now so okay let's keep uh, King Dempsey on the field and let's keep uh, cost counter for something else because we will link for Ibu and pass I guess yeah I draw yeah, this was a card that I cut, uh, it was not there, I think this card became a uh, Durendal, and if it, this card was Durendal, this was, would have been game, but okay, I guess. It's fine, we can wait a turn, we can wait a turn. Is someone popular to add origin? Yeah, you don't get why he activated in Kuribu so he doesn't get the dodge effect but it's fine because I can just go into this thing he sent link Kuribu summon that one and here I can cross counter and negate his play go into something because it's important that the card won't be on the field and here it's game I think he surrendered yeah so as you can see, this deck has a lot of grind and it can play really well into the Snake Eye matchup when it doesn't maybe have the best end, but Snake Eye has some clear point where if you interrupt them at that specific point and you can just throw a follow-up, it's game and they can't, uh, re they can't recover or they can just die. Last one is still against Snake Eye, and this was, I think, the first game that I did with uh, this deck, so it wasn't uh, that refined. Uh, the deck, deck was not that refined, but you can see why Zeus is something that you need to play. So, as you can see, this end is horrible, it's horrible, but we are banking on Maxi to carry us. So yeah, first infinite impairment because we don't want uh, origin to uh, to hit the field. He has that, push summer and let's go with Maxi. Let's see. Okay, so Maxi works. Let's see. I draw the narrow thing and it draws itself. It's fine because he decided to self-draw itself so he can go into his Snake Eye play, he can go into Ash, Poplar, so for me it's fine. He does some play to go into Savage, but I will infinite impermanence himself, him, so he doesn't get the, the negate. And so he, now he is forced to go in with Ash, going to... Um, Flamberg, Flamberg set uh, Ash or Oak for the follow-up. Let's see what he does. Yeah, that. So here I drop the best card in the deck and from this point you can just uh, go into all your extra deck. So let's start with normal summon this. It does his snake eye play to go to just have so much recovery. Poplar, Poplar special summon itself. I don't know why he keeps activating Link Kuribo without the need, but it's fine. Poplar add origin, and let's see. From this point, I can just normal summon this, go into promoter for the follow up, XYZ for. Uh, uh, Chaka 9 and go into a Zeus play, a Zodiac Zeus play, because I want to get rid of this Flamberge before removing it uh, from the field with uh, Zeus. Tiger Mortar. Into Trident, Trident activate and destroy Flamberge. It doesn't have any target, so it's fine. Broadbow, going to battle, attack directly, going to main, and going to Zeus. It's a 
six or six materials Zeus, I think. Yeah, six materials Zeus. Get rid of the board, popular set, it's fine because I can just triple tactics and remove uh, his origin from the hand. Set uh, Flambe counter because I have uppercut in the graveyard so Flambe, Flambe counter is live. And now let's see, he draws Origins, which is so good, but we have to negate it because we don't want Tash to come on the field and he can just bring back something with Poplar, it's fine. It's fine. With Poplar set Poplar, I don't get it. I don't get this because he could have set uh, Flamberge and if I decide to Zeus, he could have uh, some... Uh, a lot of follow-up, but okay, I guess, good for me. In the end phase, I just nuke the field so he doesn't get the poplar back. Now summon, I drew an ash, so now promoter, promoter goes into uppercutter plus uh, chief second, chief sep uppercutter got uh, switch hitter, switch hitter uh, normal summon back, uh, normal summon promoter, go into Dempsey. And this for the follow-up, but that there are no follow-up because this is little on board. Okay, so this is what this deck can, can do. I hope you enjoy this replay and let's see, see us in the next video, I guess. Bye!